All right, so before we actually do the faucet, what I did was I um, forgot to put the countertop on here. So let's do that really fast. We're just going to select this, um, select the, the overall body, and just shift drag one up. And then we'll just uh, make it about so high. Take these vertices here, and just bring it up to the top here. So it's actually sitting on the top, like that. And then we'll just let it hang over a little bit, like so. About the same on each side. On the front, we can line it up with the door here, something like that. And I wouldn't worry about the back. And there. Now we have the countertop that I totally forgot. Okay, and actually let's turn this turbo smooth off in the viewport and just turn it on for the render. One should do fine. And we'll just call it sink. Bath. Sink. Like that. Alright, so we'll um, let Max save. Come into our top view where we will do this right here. <clears throat> it's a Berlin 7 bathroom faucet. Um, get the link to that. And the dimensions are right here. The height is about 13 and 3 quarter inches. So let's create that. To do it, we'll go in the top view and take out a cylinder. Something where right about here, I'd say. A little over an inch radius. And bring it up. Give it that gray material. As far as the height is concerned, we'll just go 13.75, just like that. And just put that in place right there. Seems good. Let's actually pull this sink forward some. And then bring this forward. There we go. All right, now we don't need anything else in the scene, so let's just go ahead and hide unselected. And we're going to leave this at default 16, and um, yeah, let's leave it like that. Let's right-click and convert it to an editable poly. And let's go to the left view here and draw out another cylinder right around here, something like that. Give it some height. And let's make it eight sided. There we go. And let's bring it over here. Bringing it enough to where, if you can see, where this edge, let me get it to be gray so you can see it better. Where this top edge will go into here. And we'll bump down the radius some um, so that what we want is this top edge to run into here, and then these edges on the side here to run into this edge coming down. This edge will run into there, and so on and so forth. All right, just like that. And we want it penetrated just like that. So when we have that, what we're going to do is click this and then go into compound objects, go to boolean and go down here to where it says cut and refine go to pick opera MB and click that and what it will do is cut us out something like that. We'll right click this and convert it to an editable poly and make sure we'll just go in here and make sure that it doesn't say two vertices it says one so we'll just weld whatever it doesn't have Alright, so we'll select that, and that's two. We'll weld those, and just work our way around it. Okay, weld those. Weld these, and just keep going like that. All the way around. That's one. That's two. Okay. So that should be good. You want to make sure that they're all welded 
so then when we do any extrusions there won't be any problems which sometimes it usually happens anyway all right, so after we have that, um, we'll just hit 4 to go into polygons, and it automatically selects those. And what I do is just delete them. And we have that. So then I'll go into this, like so. And just to see if everything is done right, let me hit loop. And it goes all the way around, so everything is welded. All right, so I'll select that. And in my front view, I'll go ahead and shift-drag out something like that and hit my scale tool and I'll just old scale flatten it like that alright I'm going to right click and unhide all actually I'm going to right click and unhide by name and go to bath sink and unhide that because that's all we really need alright and then I'm going to put this down like so just a little bit and rotate it so that it's flat and facing the sink just like that. Okay, looks good. Alright, we'll come back here to this edge and hit loop and go to chamfer and bring that down. Something like that. 0.3 ought to be fine. And that looks good all the way around. And I'm going to select this and do a ring selection. Connect and slide it this way something like I don't know, nine, negative 98 so that when I select this and hit T and go down to Turbo Smooth you'll see that that actually is starting to look right but because we don't have any edges coming across here it's going to kind of look a little bit um, messed up so we can fix that actually if we want to go into this view and just pull these up or actually you know what I think I'm going to loop select these and control remove that and with this one loop select and I'm actually going to control remove that too. Collect my polygons here and alt deselect this so it's just the bottom and delete those. And then I'm going to come in here and do a ring selection. And up here, control click and um, click connect, do two, actually do one, and see, do I want it like that? No, I don't. Let's just do, select this side and do ring. Yeah, that's what we want. And select this and do a ring. And then we'll hit connect. Do two. One, I mean. And we can slide these into position. Just click OK. Go to this view. And basically what we're trying to do is line this up right around here to that vertice there and then we'll just come down here and get this one and bring it up to about that one and then hit one to go in vertice mode and then we can just come in here and select that and do a connect right click and connect same here. Alright, we have that. And so far that looks pretty good, so when I take that off, oops, just a little bit. Just like that. I'm going to come through here, connect, and through here I'm going to add a connect as well. Just kind of like bring that up. And you'll see that it starts to look better now. And if we do it on two, then it really cleans it up and tightens it up. So 
now we have that. So that's the start of it right there. So in the next video, let's finish up the faucet.